Good morning, Flex Fam. I gave myself a quarantine haircut. I was tired of the overgrown forest on my on the sides of my head. How are you doing this morning? Are you doing great? So think about this for a second. It is very hard to separate our feelings from our decisions and our perceptions of things, correct? Unless you're just a super logical, analytical person, it's really hard to remove our feelings from the way that we perceive things. With our memories, our, our feelings are tied to the things that we experience. So today is vlog number 27 and my question to you is, when is life truly objective and by no means subjective? So just as a recap, subjective refers to the way our feelings influence us, like personal perspectives or, or feelings associated with something that we're experiencing within our decision-making process. Objective is the cold, hard facts. Cold, hard. So today I want you to describe for me moments in our life that are completely objective, no feelings involved. No subjectivity to be seen. Just so we're all on the same page, I'll give you an example of an objective statement. The earth has one moon. This has nothing to do with feelings because science has backed up this fact. Here are some subjective statements. Touching a spider is scary. The baby birds in the tree next to me are so cute. On second thought, the baby birds in the tree next to me kind of look like aliens. The sky is the prettiest thing I've seen all year. Whatever, you get the idea. Subjective includes opinion and feelings. Objective includes cold hard facts. So... I want you to justify to me what moment in life is completely objective. No feelings involved only based on facts. Not just statements, like actual moments in life. When is life truly objective? Or is it never truly objective? That can be your opinion too, but just make sure that you justify it. Continue getting in those Flex projects to me, and reminder, if you have other projects that you have not yet completed, complete them, turn them in, and I will still give you credit for them. It is not a lost effort. I look forward to hearing your justifications in the comments below. I will see you tomorrow for Flex vlog number 28. Hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. I love you. I miss you. I will see you tomorrow.